Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get BTTV emotes to show up on screen. So my previous video on how to add BTTV emotes, I got a few comments on how to get them to pop up actually on the screen moving. So I'm guessing the issue is a lot of you guys are using Streamlabs has their own emotes that you could turn on to show up on screen. You're not going to want to use Streamlabs. What you're going to do is you're going to head over to Stream Elements. So once you're over on Stream Elements, you're going to want to go over, sign into whatever channel you're using it for. In this case, it would be Twitch. And once you're here, you're going to go over to My Overlays behind my big head. And you're going to go ahead and create a bank blank overlay. If you already have an overlay, you can add it to it. And so we're going to do 1080, and now we're going to start. So you're going to go down here to the bottom. You're going to click this little plus symbol, and you're going to go over to Alerts. And then right here, Show Emotes from chat on your stream. So you're gonna add that. First thing you wanna do is depending on the size of your stream, whether you stream at, at 1080 or, or 720, you're gonna wanna set that to the correct one. So mine is going to be 1920 by 1080, and then you're gonna center it, okay? Let me go ahead, it is not in the way. All right, so what you're going to want to do next, you should be able to see through that, is now that that's added, if you want to just test it, if you go to emulate, if you click on a mode event, you can click pog champ, and you should see it show up on the screen. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. Is Make sure you click center. You can head over to the settings, enable seasonal hats, because that's fun. You can turn this on. You, I would put an emote limit per user. An issue that I see a lot that people run into is they don't put a limit and then their chat just spams like crazy and your, and your screen just gets full of emotes and it's rough. So I currently have mine set to like, I think, um, what do I have mine? I think, I think I set mine to like 33 emotes per user, 20 or something. Just so, it re, it's just so I've had a viewer actually cover my screen in emotes and it was quite awful. So you're going to want to do that. So emote explosion is going to be on, and that you can vary the amount of emotes as well. What that is for you can set it for different events, whether it's subs. You can also select what kind of emotes. So you can actually use your BTTV emote channel emotes here. I have my sub emotes being used, and what that'll do is let's say if you got a follow, Poggers. it'll pop up is now following. a little explosion of emotes. The thing is, the BTTV ones don't move here, so I, I suggest don't use them for the emote explosion. It's not my favorite thing, but if you were to use them in your chat they would pop up moving on screen, such as right now I'm actually typing over on Streamlabs. As you see, they're moving on screen. So they wouldn't be moving on screen for you just yet, so you should see them on this screen. You won't see them on your Streamlabs. So what you're going to do is you're going to save this. You click Save. You can name it... Uh, is that Panda Frost? I don't know. You can name it probably a Moat Explosion or, or a, a Capogen or whatever you want to kind of emote it. Name it. You're going to go right here, you're going to copy the URL. So once you have the URL copied, you're going to head back over Streamlabs. Over on Streamlabs, what you're going to do, I already have a source for it. But what you would do is you click this plus symbol, you would go to Browser Source, Add Source. I can add a new source for now. E oh, we're going to add that. Go ahead, put that in there. 1920. 1080. Right click my emotes, transform, fit the screen. And now, what you're going to want to do is you want to double click that and just refresh the cache of current page because sometimes it doesn't refresh right away. And now, when people send emotes to your chat, they will pop up on screen. Yeah, I kind of have like doubles of everything. Wee! So that's it. You add that. If it doesn't work, try refreshing Streamlabs, is always a quick solution. But now your BTTV emotes, no matter what they are, whether it's the blob, whether it's, you know, something else you've added, they will work. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment below. I appreciate it, and I will catch you all next time.